Good morning, Steer Nation. Uh, I'm coming to you this morning. It's Monday. It's March 23rd. Uh, on a side note, it's Assistant Superintendent George Bancroft's birthday today. So uh, if you think about it, you got his number or uh, you know how to reach out to him, either call him or text him and wish him a happy birthday. In fact, uh, I saw him briefly this morning and he was out and about checking on our meal deliveries that we have been providing for all of our community since last week. <clears throat> Let's just start off with this. Uh, it is Monday, and just as a reminder to everyone, um, uh, you can still pick up packets at the campuses this morning from 8.30 to 3.30. Uh, for you that uh, this is a problem doing, um, just go by the high school tonight at four o'clock They'll be open till seven. <clears throat> this is the late pickup. And this pickup is for every campus at Big Spring ISD. Uh, we're gonna do it at one central location this evening. So if you don't have a chance to get out, for example, say to Moss Elementary, uh, you can go after four o'clock to the high school. This will be curbside. All you have to do is tell the principal on duty at the door uh, what campus your child is at or campuses and someone will bring that to the door and we will hand that to you. So if you have any questions on that, feel free to call your campus or give us a call. Also, speaking of meals, uh, just a reminder, those meals are at 23 different locations. They're all across Big Spring ISD. A uh, special shout out to our bus drivers who are giving us uh, assistance with this. And if you have any questions on this, please feel free to call us as well. Um, just a reminder, uh, due to the executive order of Governor Abbott, our schools are closed uh, <clears throat> at least through Friday, April the 3rd. Uh, on that date, uh, depending on what the governor says and uh, the situation, we will make a, a decision on either further closures or trying to begin school on April the 6th. I just want everybody to be aware that we are closed for the next two weeks through April the 3rd. However, let's just keep in mind, even though we're closed, uh, I again have got to give a special pat on the back, shout out to our amazing staff here at Big Spring ISD. I'm talking about our teachers, our paraprofessionals, secretaries, principals, district leadership. Uh, this is something uh, that we're dealing with that we had to basically start making a plan within 24 hours. Uh, when school was closed uh, by me on uh, Saturday a week ago, <clears throat> we had to come together as a group and within 24 to 48 hours come up with a game plan uh, to help service our kids in this community. Um, this is something that there is not a playbook for. There is not a blueprint to where you just go step by step by step. When dealing with something like this, this was completely new, it's unprecedented, and I just wanna say special thank you to our teachers and principals and staff for coming up with, I, with what I think is an amazing plan to continue giving instruction to your kids uh, at Big Spring ISD. And again, let's continue to remain positive uh, we're all in this together, and sure, as we go through this, we'll look at things and think, you know what, we could do something a little bit better, and we will continue uh, trying to improve, but let's also remember this. We're all in this together. We need to remain positive, remain calm in the situation as best we can, and let's get through this, take this time to work with your kids at home, uh, spend time with your family, and when we do get back, back to a sense of normalcy, I believe that we'll all be uh, looking back and saying, you know what, this is something that in the future, if we have to deal with, we will be better prepared for and we will move on. Let's continue to remain steer strong through this and hopefully sooner than later, we'll be back together. Hope all of you have a great Monday. Go Steers.